Good afternoon. Welcome to my Cardinal RG. I'm here at Castillero. My mission for today is to fly the LPV approach, which just got added to the database here. So, excited about that. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to enter my destination. Six. Eight India Sierra. Enter that. Hit procedure. Do the R9 of nine. I'll do it uh, by uh, initial approach point of grift. Enter, and there it is. We're loaded. We can see it on this screen. It paints it. I go to my map mode. Shows it there. So, you're going to take off, fly out yonder, and uh, see if we can shoot this approach. RPM, top of the green mixture, turn on my data here, it says distance is 17 miles to my Initial approach fix. And we are going into the sun, so maybe I'll spare you that. Okay, I'm going to give this a try. On my bottom, my bottom uh, 540 here, I'm going I'm, to, I'm selected down to the next waypoint, height. I'm going to try entering direct there. Waypoint direct enter. Activate direct height. Yeah, so I'm in GPS steering right now. So it's going to build me a turn. The reason I'm doing this, save me going all the way out here, and um, I'm going to pull the power just a little bit too, get more to an approach speed. And I'm getting close to uh, Rockford's Tursa, so uh, no reason to get them all excited. I'm steaming up on their uh, airspace on it here, so... So I'm on, um, the mode is switched automatically to GPS-LNAV-V. Dash dash so you see we're flying our uh, our GPS steering corner here. Turf is near and ahead, it says. Watch it for traffic. So is the Avidine. Go back to map mode here. And I've got uh, north up here, and I've got track up here just to confuse things. It's also interesting that the ARA has picked up the flight plan. It knows what it is and what leg we're on here. Still 2600. I'm in heading altitude mode hold. Oh, mo <laughs> altitude hold mode. Um, this is an, an, an STEC 60-2 with altitude pre-select. Which I didn't pre-select. Let's see. What is the barometric? 3002. I could uh, punch that up also. I don't think I'm going to use it though. All right, so now I'm um, roughly 90 knots. I'm inbound on my approach course, a little bit right of course. Looks like it's going to adjust me there with GPS steering. And uh, away we go. We're at 2,600 feet, inbound to kite intersection. That's the uh, initial approach. Let's see, what's it? Final approach fix or international approach fix? Probably could look at that and tell. A little thing that says to begin descent in seven seconds. I'm still in GPS to LNAV plus V mode. So I'm going to let the GPS steer follow me around this corner. And then uh, as I pass this waypoint, I expect this mode to switch. There it is, LNAV plus V. And then once I'm a firmly established on the um, inbound course, and it's uh, settled down a little bit using GPS steering, then I'll switch to the approach mode on the uh, stack autopilot just overturns just a little bit. So I'm going to let it capture. 
I could drive on uh, GPS steering all the way to the ground on LNAV plus V, but I'd, be have, I'd have to handle the uh, glide slope myself. And if I switch over to approach mode on the autopilot, it should capture the glide slope and uh, fly the glide slope as well. Okay, I'm going to switch over to approach mode, I believe, here. So we're in nav approach. It's going to do a capture. You can see it chasing a little bit. And in a little bit it'll find it, and it'll soft capture. It's uh, activated my glide slope capture at the same time. Glide slope has just come alive. It has to be captured. It's in capture soft, so I believe it thinks it's captured now. And uh, the glide slope has to be alive for 10 seconds in order to arm the glide slope. And it does look like the, arm slope is gli uh, the glide slope is armed. Show some headlights here. Begin descent in 8 seconds. Feeling lights are coming down. I'm at uh, still at 2,600 feet. Should grab a hold of it. When it does, my altitude flag should go out there. It did. Now my trick is to manage my airspeed very carefully. My power here between airspeed and the drag because I want to slow down and I want to follow the glide slope at the same time without, uh, without chasing things too badly. So electric trim is going to handle the trimming. Uh, if you've got good eyesight, you'll see the airport starting to come up there. Glide slope is now slightly low. So it should... Uh, should be pulling up to fix that, and that'll slow down my airspeed, which is what I want to do. If I was shooting this in actual, I would have been at 90 knots and just wait the extra two minutes, but I want to get this into the video. And so, you can see the airport coming up here. Starting to show my terrain. It's staying on course very nicely. My minimums are 1,300 feet. I'm going to let it go a little bit beyond that and see what it does. Castillo, traffic cardinal 7 kilo pop. I'm in, uh, inbound for 09 on the GPS approach. It'll be a low approach or possibly a landing. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be a low approach. I just, uh, see how it does all the way down. Okay, so I'm at 90 knots, which is pretty good. I'm a little below the glide slope, so it's still trimming. But make that work. It's quite bright, actually. I can fix that. You can hear it. I almost want to turn off the terrain. 1,500 feet, 85 knots, on glide slope. Needle is centered here. 100 feet for minimums. This is the old circle of land minimums for the VORA approach that we used to have, right at 1460. So we're 160 feet lower. So there's 1300. 500. There's 500 feet off the ground right at 1300. So there's minimums. It was pretty good. Now I'm just going to ride it down, see how it goes. Everything's going well. Still on the glide slope. 90 knots. Uh, the gear is up currently. And Castillo 7 kilo pop uh, 9. This will be a low pass. So that's something I'll have to work in in the future. Um, practice here is getting the gear and making sure how to manage the drag for that. So we are slightly above glide slope, 90 knots. And we're uh, 300 feet below minimums. Just fine, it's just correcting to center. 
And look at that. It's putting me right on the Vazzy. 150 feet, right over the numbers. Bingo. It did all of that. Fabulous. And the missed approach is depicted as well. So if I wanted to, I could do that under uh, autopilot control. So it occurs to me, I don't know that I have a night landing on video. So I figure we'll do that. We're at 1,500 feet. A little below pattern, the gear's up, not to flaps. That's okay. Cassidero, right downwind, zero 09, full stop Cassidero. A little bit wide. I have to switch back to uh, VFR thinking now. And that's an interesting thing about this airplane. This, uh, uh, we got one at your flaps, we're just on the downwind, so I'm going to do gear, I'm at 100 knots. The interesting thing about this airplane is because of the panel and the ability to do some of this programmatic stuff and, and uh, Autopilot, coupled approaches and glide slopes and all that stuff. It feels very, I guess, big, you know, capable. And yet, when it comes right down to it, it's a Cardinal RG, and I can, I can easily land it in, uh, you know, a friend's backyard or sod strip out here in a farm strip. It uh, works out really well. So, we are beam the field there, pulse of power, another notch of flaps. Got uh, gears down, you got a green light. Looking out the window, I see a wheel. That's always a promising thing. And the wind is calm on the ground. I've got uh, LED light on, the taxi light. Now I'm going to turn on the HID. And there's my 45. Eighty knots. Screens are bright. There no sound, just a little bit. And I do have a wash light, a panel wash light here. 500. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to want to show this one on the video. I turned a little closer. There's no wind. I'm used to there being a little bit of a headwind, so... I turned in a little close and uh, uh, overshot the turn, so. so sorry about that. Got wheels, two notches of flaps, 75 knots. You can see the HID headlight working real well. Here we are. You know, I've been watching a guy flying the Premier around. Got some interesting videos, and I notice he lands to the left of the center line, too, sometimes. And taxis to the left of the center line. I think it's a pilot thing. Not just me. That's my theory. And then I wait for the last little bits of fuel to come out of the fuel spider on top of the engine, because the fuel shutoff valve is off. And uh, I'll turn off uh, the avionics as the engine spins down. Shut off the lights and we'll be done. So, thanks for flying along. I'll say goodbye now. No reason for you to ride along on that part. Appreciate you coming along tonight. Hope you had fun and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.